What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Third Gen Junkies, you know who it is, Chris. And today we're going to do a video on how to uninstall a third gen 82 to 92 Camaro or Firebird. So here we have a 82 to 92 third gen Camaro Firebird steering column. That just so happens to be a five speed steering column out of early model that has the uh, release so like when you click it forward you can't you can't pull the key out just by clicking it back you have to push the lever down and click it back it's a five speed column out of an early year um, so I have a gentleman who wants this and we're gonna do a video here on how to remove a steering wheel from a steering column without damaging it and what you'll need is I use my half inch impact with a what is it 13 16 socket you're gonna need a steering wheel puller kit I'll be using this one here along with these two gold bolts which it shows are 8 millimeter by 1.25 the head is a 13 millimeter so I'll be using a 13 millimeter on the ratchet to tighten it down show you how we go about doing this so steering column just gently pull up on your horn button it'll pop off be careful so you don't break any of these tabs for it because i mean like this one's already been out a little bit it's been out a couple times set that to the side set that down here and then you have your center nut um the horn stuff i'm not totally sure where it's at in this one it's different than any one that i've seen before but obviously when you push it it touches these connectors to this it looks like that one kind of when it's on there it probably will touch but looks like the uh plastic weld there kind of broke off the one like this should be here um and then uh one thing i didn't check was uh what size this guy is probably the same size just 13 okay but we're not to that point yet so first thing you want to do pull your nut off like that 13 16 is a little bit tighter on the nut than the 21 millimeter so it is a little bit of a pain to get off the nut itself so screw it back on wiggle just pull it off by hand like so put that back on there so it don't get lost I'll set the nut over here and the next part is you're going to grab this guy. And you want to screw this center piece down until it touches the center of the actual shaft. Like so. And you want it to line up. These two slots to line up with the holes that are down in here. Which is where the two gold bolts will be going. So... Those are the eight millimeter by 1.25s. Um, it's weird because these other size that's over here, which would be one, two, three, four, the fifth one. So one, one, two, three, four, five, which is E. It says five sixteenths by 18 millimeter. It is almost the same exact thread. It threads in, but we're not threading it in all the way this is basically just to hold it in place it's not it's a, a stability thing it's not a like a torque down or anything like that so go ahead and run these down in there because that's literally all they're there for is stability run that down run around this guy down like so and then you want to make sure that this is centered. And all you do 
is turn this till it's tight. You start cranking on it. And actually, I don't need the extension for this. You just turn, and it'll pull the steering wheel right up off the column really easily. Just like that. <laughs> Hot knife through butter. Just like that. And then, all you gotta do is take these bolts back out. Like so. this one out but I'll wait because I have that center stud in there like that set this stuff over here be careful of the column and there it is that's it and it looks like at some point the horn button thing got broken because I do believe that that goes through that hole here there's a wire that's supposed to come up and that's supposed to be soldered to like this. When this connector connects to that one, it actually honks the horn, but it looks like this one at some point was broken before I ever got my hands on it. So, but, <clears throat> set that there. Then you can put the horn button back on it. Just square it up. it on and then you want to put your nut back on here it's weird nope. just like that and that my friends is how you remove and this is probably all the way down to like the 50s or 60s in all gm cars because i mean it's basically the same concept and i mean you have these kits i mean it was 76 dollars to rent this from oh 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 o'reilly's auto parts non-sponsored um you go you rent it um they take the money out of your account and then as soon as you take it back with the receipt they automatically credit the money back to your account Sometimes it takes some time, I'm not gonna lie, which kind of does irk me. I mean, you can take my money right away. They're like the government. You can take my money right away, and then as soon as I bring it back, when it should be automatically redeposited right back in my account, the same way as you took it from my account, um, they uh, it doesn't get returned back as fast as they take it. So it could take up to like three days to get that money back. But yep, that's it for this one, guys. I mean, this is actually a pretty quick video. Um, so just so you guys know we're gonna be having uh some merch soon very very soon um shirts possibly hoodies um so we'll be letting you guys know about those and um like subscribe drop a comment down below let me know what's going on you want free stickers hit me up cameraman chris 79 at gmail.com you want to send any fan mail or any info i mean hell you can send me hate mail for all i care um in the link uh it's in the link in the description uh the peel box so let me know what's going on guys i mean we're trying to get some stuff together trying to figure out ways to you know bring in some revenue so we can get some stuff rolling and get everything moving more and uh i'll be working on ruby probably later tonight or possibly one of these other cars i'm going to cut up the teal car today so that next saturday hopefully if i don't work because i'm not working today but i don't want to i need to get that car gone so yeah let me know what's going on see you next time